Hello, Jonathan here. We're gonna do a little vlog today. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Jordan riding grain around on a little. I picked up another one of them little go karts. Uh, believe it or not, somebody had put that little go kart, Model T Shriners cart, whatever you want to call it, but they put it on uh, Facebook Marketplace for uh, $200. And had an old Clinton, and the motor wouldn't, well, it was wore out. So I bought a Predator. I actually bought two Predators. Bought one for it, one for the little fire truck. But we threw one on that so he could ride around. So he's enjoying that. But anyway, I'm going to uh, do a little vlog today, update everybody on what's going on, what we've got going on. We've got, uh, well, one thing. This is Sunday. Noah's here. We're working. It's been uh, really busy and busy towing got this in the middle of the night last night and uh ducati i think this thing's about new i don't think it came out with this bike until 2018. let me see yeah it's tore all up he actually wrecked in uh i don't know what number rock that is it's not riprap it's it's smaller than that you can see one of the rocks jammed in the cover there but he ran off the road and wrecked in that stuff and this was one of the few, you know, I don't get nearly as many wrecks that's rider, you know, uh, fault. Usually my wrecks I get is, uh, you know, the car around it, pulled out in front of it, run into it, you know, run into the back of them or something like that. But this particular one here happened to be the rider was driving too fast. So uh, anyway, tore it up pretty bad. And I don't know how he's doing. He went to the hospital, so... Uh, they had him gone before I got there. But uh, anyway, a couple things. Uh, we got Noah working on the, the clutch job, getting started on it. And I know everybody says, oh, it don't look safe, don't look safe. On I got six by six solid wood blocks there. That's not what's holding this thing up whatsoever. This wrecker is what's holding this thing up. Uh, I trust the wrecker. I trust the wrecker hanging from overhead way more than I'd ever trust them blocks but uh, the blocks are there it's it more of a safety and then we've got the wheels chopped really well so it can't move so we're getting ready to get this clutch back out and see what went wrong with the if the spring came out or what but uh anyway uh, another thing we got to replace the springs on this truck I traded for this truck or well let me put it this way I paid the guys uh, DOT overweight tickets uh, which were $1,200 and then I gave him $800 cash for the, the truck when it was a dump truck and it had some issues and uh, pulled the dump bed off, sold the bed for $1,000 and then I put this rollback bed on it. I didn't have to change the wheelbase that was one of the good things about this one but uh, his overweight tickets were like 20, one of them was 20,000 pounds overweight or 22,000 pounds overweight on this truck so you can see my springs actually or reverse arch there. They're arched up instead of down. This is an 18,000 GBW truck and I'll show you the springs I've got for it. Okay, here's our springs. These are uh, the same width, same length, bolt on the same. They're just taller. They're actually uh, taller here. And these are actually out of a uh, 26,000 GBW truck. So we're going to get the back up. And it, now it's needed these since I've gotten it. And another thing is when I got it, the kingpins wasn't the best in the world, and I've kept them greased good, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the front end out in that truck also, because I've got this same truck that's uh, in a lot better shape. It uh, had thrown a rod a long time ago, and I, a friend of mine bought it, and I just recently bought it off of him. He, when he bought it, it was already blown up. So. Uh, so I've already gotten some parts off of it over, over the years, but I finally just bought the whole truck so I could get get everything I needed. So we're going to change these springs out. We're not going to do this today. We pulled these off yesterday to get them ready. But I think, like I said, we're going to get this clutch done. And uh, I'll keep you updated as we go. Okay, folks, we've got the transmission pulled back. And it's looking like there's a bunch of rivets broke. And I don't know why. But we're going to... And tear it apart. I think it's going to come out in two pieces. I think it's supposed to be 
what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rivets around there that's missing. We're not finding any pieces of them, but anyway, let's get it out. All right, folks, this is a new one on me. I've never had this happen before, but that's exactly what happened is all these rivets, the heads popped off of them. Now, after they popped off, this was able to move back, and it rubbed against the inside of the pressure plate. This happened after. And it slid forward, and it was touching the front of my flywheel bolts. But the problem is, is I don't know why it happened first. It don't make a lot of sense. I never, never run into this one. Not this situation. So, uh... We'll get a hold of the company and I got money that says they're not going to want a warranty this time. We'll see. Alright. Okay. So we're at a standstill with this one. And I'll show you. I did find a couple of the heads of the rivets. Laying in the bottom of the bell housing. And there's a hole. So the other one's probably just fell out on the road. I don't know why they broke. Nothing hit them or anything like that. They just broke off. So, my luck. So, uh, we're at a standstill until we can figure out something on the clutch. And it's Sunday, so I can't figure out anything until tomorrow. And, uh, so, I had to go get a wreck. And that's one of the reasons I didn't take the springs off the other truck or mess with it. Because I don't want to have both of these trucks down at the same time. And then, uh, so we got Noah. He's working back on the four-wheel drive. Trying to get the uh, transmission up in. Yeah, well, it is up in. We're trying to get everything bolted up, and then, got, like I said, got to make drive shaft and cut a hole in the floorboard. So, let me let me zoom in on this. What? It's a rare sighting. A rare sight, yeah. Right. yeah this is uh, Noah working. <laughs> Don't happen very often. Just once a year around Halloween. Around Halloween. Join Noah. I'm trying to reroute this master cylinder. Rewrite a master on it. No. You mean a clutch master on it? Yeah. The line? Yep. Well, got news for you. It's gonna be fun. It'll be fun. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Should be. All that wiring was perfect before you started on this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. I guess you uh, might want some help. Maybe. All right. Let me turn the camera on. Okay, so far on the four wheel drive here, we've gotten, excuse the mess in here, got the shifter in, hooked up. I like the position under that, even in this truck. So, transmission transfer case is all bolted in and jacked up. Now we gotta get a cross member made and work on that clutch slave cylinder some more. And of course, like I said, the, the biggest job is gonna be the building the two drive shafts but not that big an issue just finding the, all the parts we need and stuff's going to be the fun part so uh it's getting ready to start getting dark so we didn't get a whole lot done today but we did get some stuff done and uh got a little more cleaning done too that we needed to get done so i'll let everybody know the update on that clutch here soon and uh i hope they'll uh I hope they, they'll stand behind it, but I kind of doubt they're going to. I just got that feeling about that company because I, you know, the throttle burn didn't come with it, but there was a place in the box for it. And I had contacted them about it, and actually twice, and they never contacted me back. So, uh, I just don't think I'm going to have good luck with that. So, I don't know if I can buy just a clutch plate or not. I may try to find just a clutch plate and just buy it and get it on its way so I don't have to argue with them. But, uh, Anyway, hopefully we can get them springs done in the other one soon too, but uh, just another day, and I'm working on the motorcycle tonight, so uh, we'll try to get a video up on that here in a little while. So. All right, 